you have a, I will say, like, if you take existing programming practice in the industry, I mean, a lot of the things that people are doing are actually extremely sophisticated. When you look at, like, the types of systems that are being built at big companies with what I would consider, like, not very sophisticated languages, okay, maybe, maybe their approach is bad, but in the end, they are building very sophisticated systems. Extremely sophisticated distributed, distributed computing, very extremely sophisticated concurrent systems. Um, I mean, people are doing amazing stuff given the sort of limitations of the material that's being used to build these things. Um, and so there's a challenge. I think, you, I think with functional programming, with relational programming, um, with these ideas, uh, you know, the, I think the important thing is really to show people how um, it simplifies the, the problems that people already understand, right? Uh, and I think that's the, the, the big challenge. And a lot, of time, a lot of times when I explore concepts um, myself, uh, I'm, I'm always looking for, okay, this is really awesome. Um, let, me, let me see if I can figure out where I can actually, uh, where this lines up with a problem I had in, in, in um, a more traditional setting. Does it simplify um, solutions in that more traditional setting. 